everyone, it's Pinky Girl and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make an owlery mailbox. So it's super cute, I made it to fit my little owl here and if you live in a house with multiple people and you don't get the mail yourself, uh, you can ask them to put your mail right here, this little slot right here, and it's super cute. I find it super cute and I just wanted like a place to put my owl that just felt grounded. I don't get mail sent to me personally. Uh, so I just wanted a place to put my owl and I just think this is just really cute. Uh, so yeah, uh, before we get on to video, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm hoping to get to 200 subscribers by the end of the month and if I do, I will do a fun challenge video which you can vote on in the poll up in, up in the corner up here. Also, um, if you want to subscribe to my channel, I do lots of fun DIYs and crafts that currently pertain to Harry Potter, Ever After High, fairy tales in general, like my Sword of Gryffindor right here, which you can check out also in the i card up there. Um, also, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Also, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. You can like leave suggestions for future crafts and videos. I do like reading your comments, and I do reply to everyone I get. Um, so yeah, also follow me on Instagram. I posted lots of this stuff, lots of pictures of this stuff in my story uh, on Instagram before it went up. I was doing it all weekend. So if you are interested in seeing the crafts before they go up on YouTube, follow me on Instagram at pinky underscore girl 513. And I think that is it. And without further ado, let's get on to the video. Let's go. Okay, so starting off, I have a half circle that I have cut out, and the dimensions are 10 inches in diameter and 5 inches in radius, and that's just a perfect size that will fit my owl, so depending on your size of owl, you might have to change that. Then I have a piece of cardboard that I've rolled up, and it is cut to 16 and a half inches, and it fits perfectly around the outer edge of the half circle. And I'll leave all my measurements in the description down below, so you can adjust based upon your owl. Okay, so now I have hot glued the back around the back side of the tower shape, and as you can see, my owl fits perfectly inside. Okay, so for the mailbox portion, I'm going to be taking these side pieces, and they'll be hot gluing to the corresponding sides on the base, and I'll be taking another piece of cardboard to put on top of that, and I also have a piece for the back of the mailbox, and I'll be hot gluing all that together. Okay, so here's the mailbox portion all glued together, and now I'll be taking the uh, tower portion and the mailbox portion and hot gluing them together on top of each other. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking pieces of computer paper and I'll be glue sticking them down all the way around the raw edges so I don't have to see the corrugated cardboard or the cut cardboard, etc. And so how I'm going to be doing that is I'm going to be taking a piece of paper and I have it covered in glue and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold it over the raw edge and with it covered in glue I'm just going to smooth it down on either side nice and smooth as smooth as I can get it and then I'm going to do that all the way around. For the roof I'm going to be taking strips of cardboard that I've cut at an angle and I've been hot gluing them around to form a circular shape that will go nicely around the top edge of the roof of the tower. And here's the last piece which I'm just going to hot glue and fit in right in there. After I glued the basic structure of the roof together, I'm now filling in all the gaps with other pieces of cardboard that are also cut to a point at one end, and I'm just going to be doing that all the way around. Okay, so now I have the entire roof filled in and everything. It's looking very rustic, which is kind of the look I was going for. And now I'm going to be um, making a stone effect on the tower, which I've been doing with hot glue dots. And just to save hot glue, I'm just um, varying it as it gets to the back because it's not going to be a scene as much. So it's more concentrated on the sides and then a little sparse near the back, just to save hot glue and money. Now that I finished the stone effect all the way around the tower, I'm now going to be painting it gray, and I'll be painting it different shades of gray, but the first base coat is going to be a very dark gray, and I'm just painting it on here, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all painted. Okay, so here's the entire uh, structure painted gray. As you can see here, I painted it in varying tones of gray. Every time I had to make myself new gray paint, it ended up being a different shade, so I just went with it. And yeah, this is what it looks like. 
Now I'm going to be painting the roof, and I'll be painting it in varying tones of brown to give it like a very rustic driftwood look. Okay, so here is the finished roof. I just took the brown paint with a sponge brush, and it just went up and down, and I eventually got the look I wanted. Now I'm just attaching it to the top of the tower. Now I'll add my little owl in. And ta-da, this is the finished owl owlery mailbox. Ta-da! Okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Also, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Um, also, I really want to hit 200 subscribers by the end of the month. And if I do, I will do a fun challenge video. Uh, so, yeah, you can vote on the challenge video up there. And also follow me on Instagram at pinky underscore girl 513 to get a sneak peek into my daily life and also a sneak peek at crafts before they go up live on YouTube. And uh, yeah, that is it. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. And yeah, I think that is it. Until next time, I'm Pinky Girl. This is my channel. Bye, guys.